Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Craig's stuff. My name is Craig, and this is some of my stuff. Have here the world of Nintendo Fox McCloud Star Fox action figure. And I'm very excited for this one because it was not easy to track down. Uh, managed to get one at a Toys R Us, and uh, just luckily it was it was it was literally the only one on the shelf, and I, I almost couldn't believe it. So uh, here he is, and I'm gonna review him because because he's Fox, man. It's it's awesome. So uh, we'll take a look at the box. It's this generic World of Nintendo packaging, but obviously because it's Star Fox, it's a different little little bit different. Fox, of course, is in the top left corner here. It says Blue World of Nintendo. It's blue. Comes with a mystery accessory, which I will reveal later. Uh, and of course, Star Fox is presented right here in the window. It says Star Fox down below. On the back, you can see a nice picture of him. Obviously, he's got some articulation, mystery accessory, other figures in the set. So, uh, how about we pop this sucker open? All right, here he is, Fox, out of the packaging, and he looks pretty cool. He does have some paint issues, so uh, not really, uh, not really any sculpting issues. He looks uh, pretty good, um, especially because he they did like an N64 type design for him. It's not the same design from like Super Smash Brothers, where it's very, very detailed. This is definitely more of an N64 Star Fox type design, which is awesome. So I have no problem with that. And I'm also excited because they have, uh, I think, some of the other Star Fox characters are coming out too. I think Slippy and Falco, hopefully Peppy comes too. Um, it'll be great to have them all together. But he looks uh, pretty good, so let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look. So the overall sculpt for this figure is pretty good. They did a nice job replicating his N64 look. But the biggest problem with this figure is the paint apps. Unfortunately, there's consistent paint smudging throughout the figure. It's not a huge deal considering this is probably more considered a kid's toy. The World of Nintendo line is made by Jack Specific and they really do mostly kids stuff. And, and they're marketed for kids. I mean, they're, they're putting Toys R Us and Nintendo aisle with other kids toys with Pokemon and stuff. So it's not really a collector toy. So it's not a huge deal, especially at the price. These are only like like 10, between 10 and 15 dollars. So it's not super expensive. As you can see on his face, there's a little bit of smudging just from where his uh, nose and mouth meet up with the rest of his face, that uh, cream color with the brown. His eyes, although, are pretty well done. Up by his ears are also well done. There's a couple dots around there. Most of the noticeable smudging is definitely on his jacket. You could see on his neck piece where it connects with the jacket it's just smudged a little bit it's also really noticeable on his waist his belt is not perfectly painted his gloves it smudges a little bit where it connects to his arm uh, those I don't even know what that is just a little bit of paint detail at his um, on his sleeves there it's not perfect but the fact that they did attempt a lot there is a, there's a lot of paint detail um, so them screwing up, I'd, I'd rather have a little bit of smudging than no paint detail at all. There's really not much paint smudging on the feet, just a tad maybe at the bottom. But the black paint over the gray really brings out the boots, it makes them look really nice. And here's a shot from the side, again it, it does look pretty good, a little bit of smudging there on his headpiece. Not enough to make me angry about it though, it still looks pretty nice. Uh, you can obviously see where his shirt uh, the plastic was connected. It's a little. There's a little bit of a gap there. It would have been nice maybe if they I don't know, closed that up a little bit. Or whatever. Uh, again, you can see a little paint dot on his sleeve there. Moving down, we see the rest of his sleeve with that like turquoise color. And it looks nice. His gloves, his tail, and then we get another shot of the side of his boots. Overall though, very nice. And here he is from the back, there's less paint detail back here, so there's definitely less smudging. His tail looks nice, 
and his boots look nice as well. One small complaint I have about the back is that with his tail, that is where they put the serial number, which kind of stinks right on the bottom of his tail there. Obviously because he's a kid's story, he's not going to have too much articulation. You do get head motion, it just spins this way, no up and down. Shoulders move up to about here, spin all the way around. You get a single jointed elbow, does not spin at the wrist, spins at the waist. Legs do go out a tad, just a very little bit. They go back a little bit as well and they kick forward just a tad. You get a single jointed knee, which goes back about that far, and his ankle goes up and down and there is no ankle pivot. And he spins at the knee. And the best part is his tail goes up and down as well. Fox doesn't stand too tall, only a little over four and a quarter inches. Alrighty, and last but not least before we go, I almost forgot his mystery accessory. Drum roll, please. Dum -dum. Da -da 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 dun da 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 We have Aw look at the little mini R wing. How cute. How adorable. Alright, and then we can talk about this really quick, the sculpt is not bad it's like a little toy R wing paint not too much paint detail but there is paint so it's adorable would have been made me nicer if they came with like a blaster and his hand was open or something like that that would have been cool alrighty everybody I guess that's it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you click that like button leave a comment you can check out my Facebook Instagram Twitter make sure you subscribe check out nerdappeal.com for more videos awesome podcasts and whatnot. I will see you guys next time. Later!